welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while since I filmed a video and I said that I was gonna try to keep up with posting one video a week, but to be completely honest, uh, school is just my number one priority right now. It is my last semester as an undergrad, praise the Lord. Um, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, I'll be starting grad school in August, so it's like crunch time right now. I hope you guys understand. I've still been posting um, over on Instagram. I've been really trying to be more active on my fitness Instagram, posting uh, three workout videos a week, just really quick, simple home workouts, so make sure you're following along um, at GlistenFit on Instagram. Instagram if you want to keep up with some things. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram of a bowl of food that I was eating and I talked about how the air fryer has changed my life and I got so many questions from Instagram and Snapchat of you guys wanting to know more so I figured that I would post a really quick short YouTube video just kind of showing you guys what an air fryer is and how to use one. Um, it's like I said, it is like seriously, I know it's dramatic, but I feel like it has changed my life. I've had like six people buy them after like me telling them about it and they've all come back to me saying the same thing. My dogs are wrestling, sorry if you can hear them. Um, but they've all said the same thing, that it is like a game changer. So I wanted to show you guys really quick. I actually got it um, as a Christmas gift from my grandma. So thank you, grandma. Um, so I'm going to turn you guys around and show you what it looks like and then I'm just going to show you how like my favorite recipe that I make using mine. Alright guys, so this is what the air fryer looks like. It's a little weird looking, but don't judge a book by its cover. Um, so this part right here pulls out and there's like a little basket thing. I just washed it. That's why there's water in it. Um, this right here is the timer and then this right here controls the temperature. Mine is the Emerald brand. I think it says it right there. Yeah, so if you're interested, I think my grandma got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then, so the first thing that I do before I start cooking, which I'll show you guys what I'm gonna cook in just a second, is I, you don't have to do this, but I like my potatoes really crispy. So I preheat it for just five minutes at 400 degrees so that while I'm cook, uh, cutting up everything, it can just be getting heated up already. So the things that you're gonna need to do this recipe, um, I do broccoli, Brussels sprouts, which I usually do the whole Brussels sprouts and just cut them into quarters, but they didn't have any at the store, so I had to buy the uh, shaved ones. Um, red potatoes, mushrooms. I'm gonna do shrimp today. Um, these two are totally optional. It ups the carbs just a little bit, but I do like seriously barely any of the breadcrumbs and the seasoned flour. This just kind of gives the shrimp like kind of a crispy crispiness to it. Um, I'll say the exact amount that I put in. I'll either link it, on, uh, put it in the description box or put it across the screen, I don't know yet. Um, and then you're gonna need a little bit of olive oil, the juice from half of a lemon, garlic powder, any seasonings that you like. This is one of our favorites, the Everglade seasoning, and then pink sea salt and pepper. Um, so this is everything that you're going to need. So I'm gonna chop everything up and then I'll show you guys what it, like, what it all looks like, how much I use and all that good stuff. Preheated and sorry, little freaking. They're so weird. Um, I just finished chopping up the potatoes, which you can see here. I chop them pretty small because, like I said, I like them crispy. So all you do is you pull out this little basket thing. And this is all connected, and then what you're gonna do is just kind of dump everything in there. As you can see, I try to like space it out on the bottom. You're gonna push it all the way in until you hear the click. And then I like to do the potatoes for 20 minutes, but I do 10 minutes and then I throw the rest of the stuff in. So I set it for 10 minutes. And then I start preparing the vegetables and the shrimp. So you can hear the air sound that it's cooking. It just uses really hot air, surrounds the food with it. That's how it cooks it. If you wanna know more about that, 
I don't know, you can just Google it. Um, but I will show you guys what I'm going to, what else I'm gonna put in the bowl. right on top of the potatoes, which I will be back to show you guys. Okay, so, so far I have used my air fryer to make the meal that you guys have seen today. I am not kidding you. I eat this meal like every single day because I get home from a long day at school and I can cook potato, shrimp, and all these vegetables in like half an hour and that includes like cleanup and prep time. So it's amazing. And then we have also done chicken tenders, like little pieces of chicken and oh my gosh, amazing and then we've also done bacon brussels sprouts so good so those are the only things that we've done with it so far it's just because like we're so hooked on these meals that we just kind of stuck with them but whenever i unboxed it it came with like i would say maybe 20 or 30 recipe cards there is so much you can do with this air fryer like there were dessert recipes um just all kinds of stuff so if you and i looked on pinterest too if you go on pinterest there are loads of recipes for the air fryer but the potatoes just beep so i'm gonna spin you guys around and show you what we're going to do next so you're gonna shake those potatoes up just make sure that they're not sticking to the bottom and they're already pretty crispy just how I like them I'll give you a little look there so then next thing that we're gonna do the ve the veggie and shrimp mixture we're literally just gonna pour it right on top and then scrape out some of the Brussels sprouts got stuck okay so you're gonna put that in right like that that is what it looks like then you're going to pop it right back in and I'm leaving it at 400 up here. I really haven't used it at anything other than 400 yet, to be honest. And then you're going to take the timer, spin it to level or number 10, so 10 minutes, and then you can hear it, make sure that it's going. And one mistake that I made whenever I first used it is I didn't push this in all the way and the timer was still running, but 
you couldn't hear the air blowing so that's how you know that it's like actually cooking your food is you hear the air kind of you know circulating around it so I'm gonna let that do its thing for 10 minutes and then I will show you guys the final product taste that it has this is my absolute favorite barbecue sauce you guys have heard me talk about this a hundred times and then I do a serving of sugar-free ketchup as well this whole entire meal I'm gonna put including the olive oil including all the condiments like everything I'll put the macros across the screen right now they are such great macros for how much food you get I seriously you guys I have eaten this every day since the day after Christmas and I am not tired of it at all the food is so crispy and then for cleanup I think this might be why I love the thing so much yeah the food is awesome but you literally push this red button this comes out both of these pieces go right in the dishwasher that's it like can you believe that like cooks it in 20 minutes all the food together and then you literally put those two pieces in the dishwasher and boom you are done so that is my little air fryer video i'm going to top it with the condiments i'll show you guys one more time and that my friends is the final product i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it gave you some ideas encouraged you to maybe pick up an air fryer of your own i'm telling you i absolutely love it and just a little disclaimer like i am the farthest thing you could imagine like from a chef like my husband usually does most of the cooking but ever since we've got the air fryer i've been able to whip up dinner and i'm like oh babe how does it feel having your wife cook dinner for you um so it is absolutely like anyone can use it it's so simple the cleanup is so easy and the food is so so good like my husband and i cannot get over how delicious the food tastes in this machine um so if you guys have any questions Feel free to leave a comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss when I put out a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one.